Hey friends, this is Chris in Current Speaking and today I wanted to show you the good, the bad and the ugly type of USB-A to USB-C cable. First we have to know what is a USB-A to USB-C cable. The USB-A connector on the left hand side here has been around for quite a while and has been subject to version 1, 2 and 3 of the USB standard. The USB-C connector on the other hand on the right hand side here has been introduced only a couple of years ago and most of the time is associated with USB 3 and upwards. But to know what a cable that actually does A to C um, consists of, we have to take a look at the connectors themselves. So I have a manual here for the USB A to USB C cable tester and here you can see the pinout of a USB C and a USB A connector. And the USB-C connector actually has 24 different pins and the USB-A connector only has 9 of them. So the cables themselves have to do some magic to translate this connector to this connector. This means that the USB-A connector can actually not feature things like USB 3.2 or USB 4 and any, any other um, modes that require for example the sideband of the USB-C connector or the CC1 and CC2 pins that this USB-C connector features. This means that the cable themselves are limited to whatever is inside the USB-A connector, which basically is USB power, USB 2.0 or 1.1, USB 3.0 or 3.1, so not 3.2 or 4, and it can advertise itself as a power source, which is called downstream facing port in the official USB standard language. Um, so now, today I've brought three different cables to you to actually illustrate this. The first we are going to test is this nice USB 3.1 cable, which you can see due to the fact that the connector itself is blue on the USB-A side. And if I connect this to this A to C cable queue, we can immediately see that all of the LEDs are lit this means that this cable cannot only provide power via VCC and ground, it can also do USB 2.0 via the D plus and D minus pins and USB 3.1 or 3.0 depending on the device by implementing the differential pairs TX1 and RX1 as well as the ground path. The cable itself additionally advertises itself as a power source for the USB-C connector on this side which you can see due to the fact that this CC2 LED is lit. And if I turn around this side of the connector and the cable, the CC1 pin is lit. So this I would consider to be the good cable. You can connect it to any and every device you would like and it will at all point charge your device, transmit data quickly and slowly, whatever you would like. The next cable I have here I would consider a not so good cable and let's say it's an okay cable. If I connect it, you can see that while on the left hand side the complete USB 2.0, VCC, D minus T plus and ground connections are lit as well as the power source LED to advertise itself as a power source, it cannot transmit USB 3 or 3.1. This means that you can transmit data with this cable, but if you for example connect an external hard drive with this cable, it will be slow or at least slower than it, it would need to be. Most of the cables actually use the black connector for this, but it's not guaranteed that they always do and therefore I would always recommend to try them out. The third cable that we're going to take a look at, which I will just call the ugly, is the cable that funnily enough came with my tablet. So, Whenever I tried to connect my tablet to my computer, it just charged, but you know, it never popped up and I always thought it's some kind of driver issue or some kind of weird quirk that my computer has with my tablet, but actually after testing it, I found out it cannot transmit data, it's just a charging cable. So, you know, you can only see the VCC and ground pins are connected as well as the power source pin, but not no data plus or data minus for USB 2 or any of the USB 3 pins are connected. So this cable, as nicely as it seems, is only capable of charging a tablet and not doing anything else. So in case you are wondering 
what your cable can actually do and why your device may be charging or not or transmitting data quicker or slower with different cables, now you know. If you have any questions or comments, just let me know or put them down below.